We are recording you. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall due to Jason G not being able to make it. And it's for an intercontinental title shot at Vicious Valentine 6. We are here now, folks. Out now. This is Eddie Swift. He's a little sexy camera man. Okay, we're here out now. You look like the children in my sweatshop. Okay, we have some Russian dude here. Um, I don't know what his name is, but we'll probably find out later. Right now, we're here for the Intercontinental Championship Tournament, where the winner will be crowned Intercontinental Champion at Vicious Valentine if they make it on to the final. This is the semi-final match. Look All the Eddie titles. Bro. Eddie Brooks is such a little sexy beast man. Look at him. That withstanding, the titles have all been vacated. Some very humbly, others just dropped at the feet of the new owner. Introducing first, currently in the ring, he's a former BWA champion, Eddie Brooks. Eddie Brooks, former BWA, former Intercontinental champion. Introducing secondly, approaching the ring, representing Lyft Incorporated. Jack Scorpio! And now Jack Scorpio on his way out here. He's fairly new. Oh, and he has title written all over him. He must want the Intercontinental Championship. That's got to be what it means for Jack Scorpio. Being accompanied to the ring by the former Intercontinental Champion, Jay Leo. Who, in his words, only vacated the title because he gave him a job. It's his job. Besides, he's also a mercenary, so he worked for money anyway. So him being fired wouldn't have done anything, would it? But right now, the man with title written all over, gloves, shirt, pants, feet. It would be kind of, it'd be kind of copacetic if he were to walk out. The Intercontinental Champion and Mrs. Valentine. What well, kind of an asshole move did not walk out? Let's go, Eddie! Let's go, Eddie! And now one fan chanting for Eddie Brooks. Eddie Brooks, the smaller man in this match, who comes in with usually a smaller man in all matches. But that's never stopped him from surviving in the Eclipse match and the bell ringing twice. We're having a lot of technical difficulties here, folks. Sorry, I thought that was my lunch spell. Eddie, not trying to go power against this guy, Jack, Jack Scorpio. There's a lot of cues in this name. And now Eddie, Eddie's not trying to lock up. Eddie's trying to fight. Eddie's got the arm. Eddie's got a Kimura. Eddie's got part of a Kimura locked in. Kind of a hammer lock. Jack Scorpio right in the eyes. Right in the eyes in front of the referee. And now he's kind of doing the choke. The referee's allowing it. I don't think the referee saw the hand over the windpipe. And now those clicks this. In the corner, Jock Scorpio taking it to Eddie Brooks. Referee reaching the five count here. You must, you must Jock, excuse me, I'm being paged into the back, but I love to watch Eddie. He's a little sexy little bitch. I like to put him in my shirt. Well, the hard scoop slam on Eddie and Jock Scorpio right now. Part of the duo of Lift Inc. Right now, that side headlock, probably choking Eddie. Accompanied by the former Air Carnell champion, who will also be in action later tonight. These two may face each other at Vicious Valentine. Who knows? I am left here by myself commentating again. Oh, you gotta be here by yourself commenting. This is Jose Consuero. Not any relation to the real Jose Consuero, but he must stall him up. All right, we're out here now with Jose. Right now, Eddie, another submission locked in Eddie's got on Jacques. Eddie's finally got control right now. Now, Jacques, go for the cup. Okay. Quick as a hiccup. Oh, Stomping on the arm and the shoulder. Well, it's here to kick to the shoulder. Jock may have the size advantage, but you can be the biggest man in the world, but if you're on your ass, you can't do much offense. Nettie Brooks is not stopping the jacket. Targeting that shoulder, that arm. And another camera lock right now. He's putting that pressure on. I mean, he's a little guy, but he's putting that pressure on. Oh, he's got to get to those ropes. Can he get to it? Four inches is going to be so far away, he's got to it. And Eddie let go. You know, if it was me, I, I would have kept up more. But I don't wrestle. Well, Eddie is Eddie's not one of the lesser of two evils here. 
Everyone loves Eddie. He's not here to be the bad guy. He has a chance to be the Intercontinental Champion at Vicious Valentine if he wins tonight. Every championship seemingly has a tournament behind it where all the winners of tonight will face off for the championships at his face. Dragged into the second turnbuckle. Face off at Vicious Valentine to be crowned the new champions. One of, the, one of his many actions as owner was rehiring Ro Rocky Phoenix, but not as the new director of authority. And Shock is on a roll right but hired, now. And he's just stomping at Eddie. But he hired Roller Havoc as director of authority rather than Rocky. Rocky has a job, but he's not the one he thought he would have. He is not. And now Shock tying the legs up. I don't know what he's doing. Nice modified, modified submission here. Kind of like a see, twisted bossy crab right now. You can see that knee ready to pop out and he let it go. He let it go. Right, he, it depends on what knee you're working on. You can twerk on either one of them. And Jock is... Twerk, not twerk. My apologies, folks. And now Jock taking off the armband. A lot of his attire says title. Is he a boxer? Is he a... Uh, All I know is that he may be in a Carnell champion. He has his way. Tonight... And Vicious Valentine. But right now, every title in the BEWA is vacant. We will not have a new champion crown tonight. You can see the frustration on Jock's face. Eddie Brooks got that rope. He has to know where he is in the ring. He's just grabbing the guy. He doesn't know there's ropes around. If you keep all your offense centered, there's no way for this man to go. Whether it be Eddie or Jock. I know that this is a shock straight to the And another one. That can snap a kneecap out of place real quick. Going for the cover. He should have fully had him covered. He had like a half cover. And now he's choking him. Blatant choke. Illegal choke. The ref is on, doing his job. He doesn't want to get disqualified in this tournament. Him and the ref look like they uh, check over. Yeah, black and white. Title for title for title for title attire. Right now, Jacques Scorpio on the offensive off the Irish whip. Oh, nice clothesline. Jacques seemingly unaffected by his own momentum. Oh, now he's arguing with the ref. This is shock. Jacques needs to stop trying to get himself disqualified here and just face this opponent and keep the match going. Jacques on the offensive once again as Eddie. Eddie staggered. Eddie's got that knee. And what does he do again? Oh, oh. shin breaker. Back to that knee. But he's kind of hard to lift him on that shoulder being taken out a bit. He could have lifted him a lot higher if that arm wasn't worked on by Eddie, but the damage is done either way. And now he's tying up those legs. Still working on that knee. Got oh, man. See the pressure being applied. See the pressure? I'm trying to see what the hell he's trying to pull here. As he just full on mounted Eddie right now. I'm not trying to see Jock's ass. I'm trying to see if Eddie, there it is. He has a free hand out here. Will Eddie tap out? Will Jock go on to face the, face the next man in the tournament? Whoever that may be. As he lets go, the damage is done, but Eddie did not submit. Jacques filmed in that shoulder again. The more pressure he tries to hold on him, the more pressure he's taking out on his shoulder. Because he has to be able to put pressure on him. And if his shoulder's weakened, he can't really put the, all the pressure on his shoulder. Jacques staggered. Eddie's just out on his ass right now. He needs to just go on and face the music. Jacques trying to fight back. Allegedly one arm, but he doesn't really need two at the moment. Open, getting him them clinched fists. The one that's not wrapped up, which I thought he would hit him with the one that's wrapped up, but hey, whatever causes more damage. Here we go. Push him in suplex. No, he hooks the leg. And he goes for another cover. He couldn't hook the leg because that shoulder wouldn't allow him to take the... I'm surprised he's able to do suplexes right now. Eddie, uh-oh, it's feeling in his knee. Eddie's trying to trying to muster the strength to stand. Eddie needs to get a better offense. Right now he's a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest against the one-armed man. They both damaged each other quite well. Wait a minute. Eddie tried to use that knee, that very same knee. 
And now, those hands. Now he's using the good leg. He's down. Oh! Kicks! Kicks! Wait a minute. I'm still looking for teeth. Right now, Jacques is just on Dream Street. Eddie, now in an offense now, Eddie just somehow gets these bursts of energy. He needs to stay on the attack. But he can't he can't just deny the pain that he's in. He may be fighting through it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Going for that submission. Patty Eddie Brooks right there. Yeah. Jacques the top right there. Eddie's Eddie Brooks is starting to lock in. That, that, that move is synonymous to Eddie Brooks. Like we said, he's trying to get that quick victory. It's right, like you said, it's all about positioning. If it's for the title, remember, it's in the first match. This match right here determines who goes on. He, he cements his spot in the Intercontinental Tournament at the finals. But right now, the damage he's doing and the damage done to him may play an effect. Jock is sitting there. Jock hitting the And now he's working on that shoulder again. They seem to be sporadic on what they're trying to take out on their opponents. He's working on the shoulder, then he's working on the knee. Whatever keeps the guy immobilized is great. But the more time you leave off on one body part, you give it time to heal. And now Eddie. Eddie knocking him down on one leg. And now taking the knees to the shoulder. And there it is. Oh, key lock. Oh. And he great finds it. He's just going to break that shoulder. If he doesn't like it. And look at the position he is in the middle. There's no way for him to go. Oh, well, wait a minute. What? Position of pressure. All he had to do was push up uphill. Yeah, he had nowhere to go, but he decided to use that momentum, use that size advantage, and get a cover in, forcing Eddie to break the hold. This is crazy. Just as crazy as what you said earlier with Bomber, which is Bomber lost his shit today. That's all I can say. I'm trying to see Eddie Brook snap. Now the personal assistant to his own brother Reaper, who now has complete control of the company. Whoa! Belly the back suplex right there. Oh Eddie Brooks is gonna feel that. I don't care. A nice side slam right there, but not enough to put Eddie away. We have several tournaments here tonight. The women's title will be defended. Well, actually, it'll be decided at Vicious Valentine. All because Reaper forgot. Reaper forgot to book the women's division. How do you forget to book women that work for you? I'm not saying that he's a... I don't know if this is a war on women. I'm not going to say anything about that subject. We're not going to say this is a war on women, folks. But we're not the government either. Right now, that toe hold oh, applied. Not a spinning toe hold. He's just holding it now. Twerking. Twerking. On the knee. I hope people hear twerk and not twerk. Because I am not trying to tag this. It would be terrible. And now, spinning on the toe. Oh, and he's spinning. He's not rushing the pressure. He's taking his time. And now he spins again. Shade to Nick Bogway going King X and C. That toe hold right there. Lift ink. And now he's going for the cover. Hoping that he, I'm thinking he's hoping that he passes out from the pain. You know, Eddie Brooks may be small, but he's got a lot of heart. He ain't going to have a lot of cartilage in his knee if that thing gets torqued a little more. Another two statement. Right now, Eddie's feeling it. I don't know if he can stand on that leg. He's rolling around, trying to get some feeling back into it. Reaper's first action was signing over the company. The second was vacating the titles. The third was signing a women's title match for Vicious Valentine. And right now, we are watching his tournament unfold tonight. We just saw the new generation advance in the tag team segment. Later on, we will see another match in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. We also have the United States Championship Tournament. He's got, he's got, I think he's trying to apply that. And also, man, four, four hot matches today. And those four matches will determine which two men will go after the world title and the BWA Championship. Both King X and C and Marcus Roy are both in their respective title fields tonight. And he's back up to his feet. For how long? For a leg is out on the 
And now he's kicking with the good leg. Like how much how much can that other leg hold up to him doing the kicks? But remember, for that brief second he's laying dead to the opponent, he's standing on the injured leg. Oh, you're out of your damn mind. You're out of your damn mind. Oh, and he's running again and putting so much pressure on that leg. And there goes another leg. He's, he's under the ropes. He's under the ropes. He needs to get him out of there. There it is. Go for the cover. And the, oh, got the rope. See, it's all about positioning. Jacques was fully aware that he was near the ropes. He didn't waste any time. They're going for covers quick. You got to be aware of where you are in this ring. Three seconds can end the match, in the title reign, in the career, depending on what's going on in the match. I don't know what Eddie Brooks has got planned. I don't even know how Eddie able to run on that goddamn knee. Where the hell is he getting this? I don't know how he's able to get this energy or run on that injured knee. Eddie is barely standing, ladies and gentlemen. Shock is barely awoke. And now Jacques is feeling, what is it, Ford, Ford, I can't even tell He's feeling good night moon right now. I'm singing a sad song right now. And now Eddie heading to the high rent district. It's not smart. You got to bum me. You're either going to pay off well or it's going to suck he's ass for the landing. Let's hope this is the Olympics and you can stick the landing. Jock is starting to get up to his two legs. Oh! Open pan punch. And this right here could be the decision. Wait a minute. We've seen this again. Oh! Modify brain buster. Brain buster with the legs. One, two, three. Jacques is the winner. Jacques woke up quick enough to see Eddie made the mistake. And the number one contender for the US Continental title. Jack Scorpio. Jacques Scorpio in the punch. And he's going to Vicious Valentine. Modified brain buster. My God. Dropping Eddie on his neck. He's back and ending the match. And there he is, former Intercontinental Champion Jay Leo. Former Intercontinental Champion ever since Brief was vacated all titles. And now he may be looking at his opponent if he wins his match tonight. Tonight, we see one number one contender, and his name is Jacques Scorpio. Jay Leo has this opportunity to get his gold back tonight as well. Before Eddie Brooks put his heart and soul in every minute of this match. But he made the mistake. He went to the high rank district. He didn't capitalize quick enough. Jock with the victory goes on the vicious Valentine's Day. But who will be his opponent? Stick around, folks. More opening day festivities. Woo! We will find out Vicious Valentine's Day tonight.